right, the plus party is rolling on here at WWNT. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed our, uh, we just did a watch along of uh, the Imagineering Story episode one. Um, if you didn't join us for that, this is still uh, the thing you can watch. This is the review of episode one of the Imagineering Story, the happiest place on earth. Joining me, we have uh, Nick hey. and Eric and Hello. Pete. Hi, I'm Pete's Eric. It's in the middle. I announced everyone out of order. I'm <laughs> That's Tom. Me. So uh, we just watched on Disney Plus at launch. They put up episode one of the uh, Leslie Iwerks documentary, The Imagineering Story. Mm -hmm. And the first episode chronicles uh, pretty much the life of Walt Disney and his involvement in uh, the theme parks. Uh, so it's obviously the creation of Disneyland, the growth of Disneyland with the uh, many expansions and, and new attractions that were built, the World's Fair. Um, through to his uh, last pr uh, project that he was involved in, Pirates of the Caribbean, and the things he was developing at the time, which would be Project X, Florida Project, uh, and as well uh, Epcot, the city of Epcot, the experimental prototype uh, city of tomorrow, if you will. And you guys, um, well, first of all, what did we think of, of the show in total? Like, there's going to be six of these, but what do you think after the first one. It was really well put together. Um, I, I think th they did a great job finding a lot of great things from the vault that we have never seen before. Yeah. I the think crashing that- crashing Autopia cars. Is yeah, that, that was fantastic. <laughs> never some, seen Some that. of the, um, uh, the, the color footage of them testing the ride vehicles. Yeah. So that, you know, I was a little concerned. I was like, you know, what are we gonna see that we haven't seen before? Yeah. Um, in other documentaries and other footage that we've seen at D23 and stuff like that, mm. there was a ton that we have not seen yeah. before. Yeah. No, yeah, I, uh, I honestly, like I haven't been able to go to like events and stuff like that or like meet any of these uh, Imagineers. So it was really awesome to be able to see different things. Cause I have th seen things throughout the years. Like when I, uh, when I was younger, uh, cause there were like these specials, these behind the scenes specials, mm. but most of like what Nick was saying, most of these things were all new to me and it was awesome to, to just be able to see all that. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, yeah I share both your sentiments. Uh, I crave anything to do with Disney parks. I haven't seen a lot of Disney movies or TV shows, as everyone knows. Yeah. So I well, crave- now you have Disney Plus to fix that. I know, so go. I have Disney Plus. But uh, I crave anything to do with parks, and I remember for years, especially the last six years of my life, because I became so active in the community, I would search the internet and YouTube and everything else for anything to do with the parks, or the building of the parks, the making of the parks, Imagineering, um, and this, like you said, like just the fact that we saw new footage and we somehow learn new things in, in this day and age of the internet and having everything right at your fingertips to see new things and learn new things and hear new quotes and, and people's opinion and you know mm -hmm. people who were around Walt. Uh, I, I I loved it. Like I'm super. Like why are there only six? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. yeah. What did they leave out of it? Like what is still in the vault? Like I, oh, I'm, there's so much. Yeah. It's yeah. just this is so. This is everything I want. I wanted. And I don't know if this is for everyone, but this is like so me. Well, I, like I said in the review number one, I said this is definitely for us. Yeah. Um, I saw some reviews from some sites that are not, you know, Disney Park fan sites, mm -hmm. and they were not very positive. And oh. I, so I responded in, in our review. I said, well, this isn't for you. This is for us. This is our thing. Yeah. Wow. So we're going to love it. And I think it's still great. I think it's a tremendous intro introductory piece. So I think yeah. if, if you, obviously, if you're watching this, you're a big Disney Parks fan. Um, I would hope, or maybe you just found it. I don't know. Um, but it's, I think if you like have a significant other that's not at your level and you want to like introduce them to this mm -hmm. and have them understand why it's such a special place or these are such spe special places and these are such special things, um, I think this does a wonderful job introducing people to why it is like the, the, the um, inventing of new technology, the mm -hmm. um, building of, of things that have never been done before, the attention to quality and detail. Um, just how special Walt and all of these people were and how talented they were. I was going to say, if you're a someone who is a technology fan or a historian who just loves history or an engineering fan mm -hmm. or anyone who, like, or, or someone who's into rides or theme parks or, if you or, like or the way cities are built, yeah, or any documentary, is. like, this hits so many broad yeah. spectrums where, and that's a great point, that if you are... If you have one of those, you know, Disney significant others who aren't so into Disney, yeah. this is the perfect, like, hey, like, this hits 
like if he created a phenomenon. And like I said, when you're watching, I said it's hard to go around the world and someone not know the name Disney. Like this yeah. man made himself off of a, a, a cartoon studio and into a, a theme park, a name that is known around the globe today in 2019 from something he was doing and thinking about in the 40s and 50s. Yeah. Uh, well, and 50 years later, I mean, look at his legacy so powerful that 50 years later, here we are, the, the launch of uh, a streaming service, and it's it's the biggest launch ever because his name is on it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, that, that name still holds that power no matter, you know, and obviously there's been plenty of good things done since he's passed away, but there's also been some bad, I think that's fair to say, yeah. and so it's amazing that the, the legacy holds on. Not only a strong service, 50 think about what later. we're doing right now, the fact that, yeah. I, mean, I mean, obviously Tom runs the company, but like, that someone can own a company, make a living, yeah. and survive as an outside company to the actual yeah. company, yeah. With just the name Walt Disney World, you know, News Today and News Tonight and everything. Well, I actually said that in our review. I said, um, and you alluded to this earlier, I, I think, um, as a fandom, as, as park fans, we're, we're kind of starved for content yeah. outside of the parks. I think, mm -hmm. Pete, you're a little newer to the fandom. Um, I think, for me, I remember many, many years ago, ingesting all that content you're just talking about, like just right. scouring YouTube for old TV specials and behind the scenes and all those things. And honestly, in a couple of short years, you probably could breeze through all of that, and there's not much left after that, except yeah. then you have to go start mm -hmm. going to people like us and start looking for these history segments. And yeah. these, the, because there's so little of it out there from the company, honestly, yeah. that it opened the door for WWNT and many other fan sites to to fill that void. And so we exist because there is such that that gap in, in content yeah. but for think, people who I mean, love you this thing in particular. Told Walt Disney, hey, there's gonna be companies that just follow what you do what in you your do. parks. Yeah. And yeah, they're gonna be able to make thought. enough money to survive and pay a staff. And he's gonna be like, wait a minute, you're not talking about my company. No, just, we're just gonna follow what you do. We just wanna know what you do. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just, it's it's amazing. I, I love how it wasn't a fluff piece for Disney yes. either. No. I like that yeah. they kept it that real. That was good, yeah. Love that's that they good. kept it real. Yeah, there was plenty of, of uh, negative, uh, plenty yeah. of, of like, here's what went wrong and the yeah. things they didn't do right. And um, I, I hope that stays on. Well, mm. I hope it could what we call the core list. Like, it's very ball. easy for the Iger administration to be like, oh, when you talk about the 60s through the 80s right. and 90s, you can be mean. And the, but when you but get to come. when you get to my parks, I want you know, yeah. Ava, you know, Star Wars yeah. was a giant success in Avatar. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, they I'm excited to they see could. what they yeah, like like how they yeah. treat. And I you can right. kind of see it. Iger was in the beginning of this piece, mm -hmm. but like I'm I, I would love I can't wait to see like how they treat like yeah. the yeah, the Eisner era, yeah. and yeah. you know and things like that and like how Imagineering has evolved. Yeah. And, like yeah. we mentioned, like. Joe Rody's role in the company, like you know, I was I was joking, like what happened? What would it be like if he was one of the original Imagineers? Yeah. Um, Did Iger have any say in this documentary? Did Disney have any final? I would know? assume some, because I mean, yeah. Imagineering essentially just opened the doors to iWorks. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. He hired the person who hired the person who said yes, that's fine. Yeah. And like I said, um, in the, <laughs> I said in our watch along. Um, they they still the company glosses over the fact that Walt Disney kind of walked away mm -hmm. at one point. They talk about the rift between Walt and Roy, and that Walt was upset that Roy didn't believe in the park thing and wouldn't let him do it. Right. But they don't really they're not completely honest in the fact that he kind of walked away from the company. And then the agreement Roy and Walt made was, uh, Walt, you come back and we'll do the park but you have to diversify the company we have to do live action films and nature documentaries and but these he, other things but it wasn't i don't think it was like a true walk away like he just said like i don't want anything to do with this right now because this is not what i No, envision. he absolutely like left the company no he left the company but and there was like an agreement that they continue to use his name even though he was gone yes but so he was actually gone documented. It's no, I understand thing. that he was gone, but I feel like yeah. there was always that between him and his brother of like, it's because this is a misunderstanding and when it's worked out, I'll come right. It's kind of like No, it was like a, like, I hate you. Like, I'm going <laughs> so away. what was Walt going to do? Yeah. Walt no, was just going to sit and to... Collect, collect his checks really? for his yeah. name right no. so now. There's I, no I, way was, I, I agree. I think he got that. bored after a little while. No, and I agree with that. I think it was a 
Okay, oh. fine. Um, like he, he well, it was not, like Angry Child. It's like you won't let me do what I want to yeah, do. Exactly. And gonna, but how do you yeah, kick yeah, the yeah. dirt? Like watching that, world. how do you think Walt Disney would just be like, fine? I'm just gonna go collect my checks and sit. Walt Disney does not go home and sit and collect checks. And he did for a little while. How long? What are we talking? He I was. Like, I don't remember the exact time. No, three three months. Months. He was. Yeah. He was already. He was already dreaming months. things. I don't remember which book yeah. it is. For when one were, of the one of the. I was about to say. I feel like you're. What you're alluding to is like he wasn't like just not doing anything. Like no, he was, he was still like working he on was things. Playing and he was working so, on things. I'm sure yeah. he's still, the park was still forming in his head, I'm sure through all that. Yeah. 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 Plus he had a backyard railroad to uh, railroad to work on. Either. But like what was it? It was like <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking like it's like 50 51 to like 53 somewhere in there. Yeah. I want to know. I mean, like two, three again, years. we'll never know. But like, if you can come back and be like, "Well, in that time, I was already talking to this guy and this guy and this guy," <laughs> he was making things happen behind the yeah, scenes, probably. Yeah. So, but I, I loved the first episode. Like, and it makes me sad that this is such a limited run. I just wish yeah. this was something that was like always ongoing, or like there was a yeah. second season where they yeah. like took a deeper dive. I mean, she's been working on this for years, so I mean, this yeah. is. You got to look at it because originally it was going to be a film. Like that was the original mm-hmm. plan, and then Disney Plus was announced, and then they were suddenly like, "Perfect docu series," which is That's better because think yeah. of it as a film. It would have been like maybe two, two and a half hours. Yeah. Instead, now we're getting it's six. We're getting six, six hours, I, which I, is yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked at how much was covered in episode one. Yeah, rep to Walt step, which makes sense. I mean, it, it it's a good first chapter. It's make sense. So good, and we See, know now episode two, we're going to talk about. Walt Disney World, Epcot Center, right. and the creation of Tokyo Disneyland. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so it's going to be that transition from after Tom's Walt's excited. life <laughs> for Epcot Center. Absolutely. So Pete wants like a uh, reality show with the Imagineers, like like. Uh, Big oh Brother God! Type I, house. Wish, like, I wish I wish all the house. I wish <laughs> that existed. But they have to be in a house with me. Oh. No. <laughs> no. No, I'm sure they voted off the first week. They like, love that. Like That's you, like amazing. they have to get along with you. Like they can't vote you out. They just have to live with you, wow. and like you have to confront them. No, but yeah. no. And you know how hard it is. The end. You know how hard it is for us to share files now. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Oh my. God. I said this at the end. He's like, oh my god. And another thing that air? I'll say here at the review <laughs> is I love that it was done by the iWorks family because mm-hmm. you know, like that. Yeah. To me, like, where would, and you know, we said, you know, you could say this for anyone, any Imagineer who wasn't there, but where would Walt Disney be without iWorks? Like, where yeah. would he, like. Yeah, that's fair. It's what put him on the map. I mean, it's, yeah. But yeah, wow. An, an amazing first episode. Yeah, it was, yeah. Are there any other things we want to talk about in particular? Uh, the first I episode? loved the. Just in like construction in general, like I love watching like the cars drive the Jungle Cruise track. I love yeah. watching yeah, yeah. the you know uh, what's it called the uh, roller coaster. Um, go- I love that Matterhorn footage. The Matterhorn footage. Them no riding the seatbelts. Matterhorn, yeah. but there's no mountain. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the. I just love part. that stuff. Like it just yeah. like that's the stuff no one sees. From yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, and it's. I mean, I come from a construction background, so like no one sees like when you're building a new extension or you're like redoing something. Yeah. You don't see like the bare bones and like, and then you have to picture what it's gonna be like when it's yeah, finished. No. And to see that and for them to put that out there for others to be like, you, um, like you're literally using your imagination. Granted, you're an engineer, or an architect, or everything else, but you're writing it yeah. and you have to pretend that you're in this mountain or you have to pretend that you're, when you're in a car, that you're in a boat going along the jungle cruise. Yeah. That's, it's like Walt's vision and these are professionals. Like, oh guys, use your imagination. Like, yeah. this is what I wanna see and this is what I wanna do. And it forces these professional people who are the best and, and top of their field at that time to be like, okay, here's where the hippos will be. Here's where, okay, we're gonna zoom past this curve on the Matterhorn. It's just, it, that to me is exciting that he forces these people at the top of their field to act like children. Yeah. yeah. What, I, what I loved as far as footage, I mean, obviously in all of these documentaries about the Disney company and Walt Disney, they all get to that point where they cover his death. Yeah. Um, and I think this was one of, if not the most powerful ways that's ever been conveyed in, in one of these documentaries. I think it was a really interesting choice because you never really think about the time of year that Walt passed away, and, and he passed away in December, close to yeah. Christmas, mm-hmm. and it yeah. captures Disneyland at that moment. You have the Matterhorn with the star on top yeah. and the Disneyland Christmas tree. Go, was going up on December 15th, by the way. That's how things used to be, kids. His birthday is uh, 10 days earlier. <laughs> yeah. And you just have this moment of... of when did um, the holiday churros come out? <laughs> um, and they're playing... I think, I think your review is what killed him on his holiday oh, churros. Boy. 
And uh, Tony Baxter paints a scene of the the band playing uh, came upon a midnight. Clear. Yeah. yeah, and they, they play that uh, in the background. And I also playing it, yeah. and it's you have the, the tour, works. the shot of the tour guides crying and, Bob, and like not even being able to say anything. Yeah, everybody. Bob Gurr, yeah, people getting choked up. Yeah, who especially Bob. if you watch Bob Gurr stuff, like he always has an opinion and a thought and able to talk. Yeah, and when he gets he choked, choked up, up, yeah, and he's someone who's still alive and you can see and you can go see him and. He always has something to say. Yeah. Uh, to see him get choked Speech up and so yeah. overwhelmed. And also, I, I also like that they did it. It wasn't forced. If you watch, so I've watched like every Walt documentary there is. Yeah. And there's a bunch out there, good and bad. Like, some of them like try to pull at your, like, you know, heartstrings and it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, you're forcing it. This was just like a perfect, it's like the last three minutes of the episode important people talking about what it was yeah. really like at the company when it happened and yeah. it goes okay this is the end of the episode and at the next one we saw the pulse wall tire yeah. yeah yeah i'm glad they got marty sklar before he passed me too that was yeah. good to get that yeah they did. i mean but I, like i said this has been in development for years so yeah. it's, but thank god it is good yeah mm -hmm. um but the other great thing is they they've really restored a lot of um if you've taken in all that content you'll recognize a lot of interviews and things from other Things because obviously when mm -hmm. they talk to Dick Nunes, that is a very old interview. Uh -huh. You know, let the memories begin was what 2013, and he's in front of the train station with that yeah. shot. So it's, but it it works. So if you couldn't get people to come back out for another interview, at least they picked out a lot of good stuff. And a good friend had interviewed Harriet Burns at one point, and somebody like had told them like that. That's the definitive interview with Harriet Burns. So they reached out to him to get that interview so wow. that the people behind this like did their research and knew what they were looking for and yeah. you're getting the best of the best with this it is it tailor made for us and Again. it's a wonderful magical thing at least through episode one i don't know how we're going to feel yeah. as we get into the modern age but this is so leslie this living first up to the family name. magic yeah. so was this put together or started before disney plus was even thought yeah. of okay so this yeah you may the... remember if you look okay. back on our site there was a trailer that iworks put out God, three years ago, okay. maybe yeah. even longer. I feel like it was even wow. 2015, maybe. And we were like anxiously waiting, like, when is this going to happen? When are they going to do this? Okay. And then finally, Disney Plus got announced. They're like, the Imagineering story, there it is. And we're like, oh, wow. great. Okay. Yeah. Finally going right. to get to see this. Yeah. Okay. Thank other, God this got other, picked up. What was that? No, I was, was, was going to make a joke. It was going to be a movie, no matter. No, no, what. I was going to make a joke into yeah. something else, but never mind. Okay. This is, I want to end on a positive note. Okay. What else, uh, other other thoughts about the first episode, anybody? Um, what do you got? <laughs> I just, I, it was perfect. It was, it was, I don't think this is anything that, like, I don't think we learned anything, like, super revolutionary that we're, like, breaking. But mm -hmm. we're, Disney like, so hardcore that, that there's only no, so much more we're No, that's what I'm saying. So that's why I think yeah. the fact that we all appreciate it, even though we're not learning anything, like, too new, but, like, there was new footage, there was, was great yeah. interviews, it was well done, yeah. the color... You know, like you said, the, the ride, the on ride video, and, and Even the behind as, the like, scenes. Self proclaimed know it alls. We, yeah. We, we were still appreciate it. For every yeah. minute of it. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying is that, like, yeah. I don't think we learned anything, but I think we appreciate it and we got so much from there it. There were little things, and even if there was nothing to learn, there were. There were magical moments in the show. We got Bob from Gurr it. sinking that basket in yeah. the Matterhorn. Yes. Marty Sklar standing amongst the Pirates of the Caribbean yes. animatronic. Like, no matter what, there were powerful moments that even if you learned nothing, there were these moments that were, had never been captured before that were recorded for this documentary series that are that are worth and watching that, for. And I think that's where they did the best job, is that they knew their audience, yeah. Yeah. and they said, we're not teaching people new things. Yeah. But we're gonna show but I think them it aside. But great for people who know nothing. Of yeah. course, of course, it's for everybody. Yeah. And I agree with that. But I'm saying, but yeah. they. I mean, it would have been easy to be like, let's do a. Well, here's where no one's ever seen the basketball court. Like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like they didn't take that route. They just yeah. showed it, and like it's cool for yeah. us to watch. It but also, like if I'm showing my buddy stuff. who's who doesn't really care yeah. too much, but he's an engineer and he's like, oh, this is right. kind of neat. It yeah. wasn't like, hey, there's a basketball court yeah. in your mom. It's, it's not. It's not like bragging about new information. Like taking us back. Stage and be yeah. like, oh, this is cool. I can show you yeah. guys this. Yeah. And the guy's like, oh, that's kind of cool as a basketball hoop. If I'm showing my friend, meanwhile, yeah. like when he signs the wall, I'm crying. He's like, well, why are you crying? I'm like, I just love basketball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nah, great first episode. Yeah. Great, yeah. Oh, so. yeah so we're coming back on the 22nd? 
Yes, so um, we're, I know the, the second episode is releasing before that, but we're going to come back here uh, live on the 22nd. It'll actually be, they'll be broadcast live on the internet as well, but uh, those of you in, yeah, the 22nd. Oh, we're going to get here at, yeah. at noon. It uh, airs at 7 p.m. All right. But we're going to have a live, <laughs> we're also going to have a live audience that day, so if you want to join us here at our iDrive studio in Orlando, uh, tickets are available now at www.newstonight.com. And you get tickets for $2 for those tickets goes to Give Kids the World, a great uh, local charity. But we're going to watch episodes two and three and do this again where we, we watch along with everybody and then also do a little uh, review afterwards. So, yeah. But this is, uh, I think uh, I speak for everyone, it's, it's a fantastic start. Mm -hmm. um, I, the, the service launched in earnest at like midnight last night. I got home yeah. from the Christmas party. And I immediately felt like I need to watch this now. And oh, there I was. Really? Yeah. yeah. So at 3 a.m. I finished wow. and I felt so motivated by what I had seen that I sat to write the review huh. right then awesome. and there. So that I think that speaks volumes for how well done this is. I, remember, I, mean, it's I woke a, up at 6 a.m. and I saw thing. Tom's review. So I was, I was like, wow. Yeah. yeah. And people were obviously passionate because yeah. I, I had never seen so many retweets or likes on anything we'd ever posted at 3.30 in the morning. So. Obviously, the world felt the same way we did about uh, this, this. And they're all sleeping show. right now. <laughs> they are now. That's yeah. fair. But uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Of course, the Plus Party is going to roll on every single week with uh, reviews of many shows. There's also, uh, uh, we'll do a big review show every week that tells you about everything that's new that week <laughs> and so much more. Um, there's Deep in the Plus, which is uh, Rob and Jill are going to tell you about some classic offering that you'll find uh, if you dig through Disney Plus, there's a lot of great stuff coming <laughs> up, favorites. so make sure you uh, tune in for it all. Yeah.